it's just living, man. You're just there in that moment, that special place in time. Hey guys, what's going on? So this week we're going to talk about something I haven't really been wanting to talk about. I haven't really been wanting to show you guys. That's why you haven't really seen it. But it's my P-Buffer 10 gallon tank. I have two P-Buffers in there right now. And, um, and a Siamese Allergy Eater. I did have three P-Buffers and two Siamese Allergy Eaters. But the P-Buffer jumped out and died. And so did, I think, a Siamese Allergy Eater. I just haven't found him yet. So um, I, I think that's probably due to water conditions. I've not done a good job on this tank. But really, it's, I don't think it's my fault. I've done the best I can actually. But um, I think it's my filter, um, honestly, I really do. Here, I'll show you the tank. This is it. Um, this side looks okay. Oh, there's one of my little peep buffers right there. Um, here's the filter. Um, it's a Aquion Quiet Flow. It's one of the cheapest filters. So you guys know it's just that single plastic cartridge. It really doesn't filter anything. I've learned after years of fish keeping. But as you can tell, I have some really, really bad algae going on in this tank. It's not the best there is. It's not, it's not the best, really. But these guys are sure adorable, aren't they? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Super cute. So, and everything's just covered in algae. You know, this is fresh sand, different type of sand than the other tank. And so I'm just going to do a complete overhaul. And the goal of this video is I'm actually going to be doing a review on the Aqua Clear filter versus the Aqua on Quiet Flow. Um, and show you what it really does and this the next video for this will be coming out part two probably next month um, and in one month and we'll see how good the quiet flow filter does so I'm excited to get started guys let's get going on unboxing this quiet flow filter okay so here we are um, this is the aqua clear <laughs> filter possibly definitely my favorite um, it's my best favorite hang on the back filter. I know some filters are better. I don't have that big of tanks, so hang on back filters work great. Um, and this is the closest thing I've found to actually like a true ecosystem. Um, and best bang for your buck because it takes up a ton of space inside that filter. So let's go ahead and bust this sucker open. Okay. So one thing that you always want to check for when you, if you order one of these is the motor. So here's the lid, by the way. Put that right there. Now the reason why I say the motor um, is because, by the way, it's all your filters and stuff, it all comes in one box. Um, the motor sometimes I found was actually misplaced inside the box and it broke because all it has is little tiny propellers on it and they can break super easy. So I'll show you guys where the motor's at. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. This is, or this is the cartridge that holds all the filter stuff. Right now it's holding the hoses. Um, oops, I dropped that. It goes on the outside, drop that too. It goes on the outside of the filter. So the motor though, if you guys can see, is right in there. See that little white thing? Sometimes that's on the outside in here floating around and it will break. It's super thin stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. Um, kind of show you guys how it goes together. So first things first, if we follow the directions, is when we um, when we open up, let's open up these over here. It's filtered media and stuff. This comes with the charcoal, um, charged carbon, it's not charcoal, I call it charcoal pretty much what it is, but it's charged carbon. Um, and it's not my favorite stuff, to be honest. Um, it will go bad in about a month or so. And so I will replace that with the, um, it's sea chem stuff, I'm forgetting what it's called. But um, I'll replace that with the sea chem stuff and it'll be way better than this charged carbon. So for right now, let's go ahead and put it all together. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go rinse it off and then um, we're going to end up placing it into this filter here. But first, let's go ahead and get the tubing put together. Then I'll get all this stuff, crazy stuff, bags, whatnot, all put together. Um, and you guys won't need to see that. So, let's go get these tubes on here. First things first, we're going to place this inside here. Just like that. So I got fits inside here. Bam. Push it down a little bit. Bam. Now, cool feature about Aqua Clear filters is see this 
this little knob right here, what you can do is now the water flows on all the way. You can actually turn the water flow down by turning this slightly. So like this would be making it to where there's not a lot of water flow coming out. So if you have a big filter on a little tank, you can turn the amount of water flow and um, is coming out, which I think is super awesome. I always like to have it on all the way, but we'll see. It's my first time having it on the 10 gallon. So let's go put the tubes on. I think I'm probably just going to one tube for now, so my 10 gallon is pretty short. Bam. There we go. So let me, let's, I'm going to go wash the uh, filters and media and stuff and get it installed and show you guys the final product. Okay guys, so here's the finished product here. Um, here's the sponge, it's all cleaned. Put the sponge on the bottom. Charcoal, sponge on the bottom, charcoal next on top, then the media. And it's cool, this kind of comes together like a little baggy. And then it goes right inside the filter. Just like this. Super easy. like that. So there you have an aqua clear filter all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and install the tank um, after I clean it and then you guys are going to see what it looks like when it's done. Okay everyone this is the finished product. Um, it took a while to do the water change. I had so much algae in there but thankfully it's pretty much all gone now. I went with this setup um, with where the filter's at um, on this far side because the water flow of the tank's so small that thing has such high water output and I'm thinking it would just be more efficient. It looks better too for the light and stuff to have it on that right side. So you can leave a comment below if you think I'm wrong in doing that or if you like it. So um, yep. So I hope you guys like this video, the unboxing and the review of the AquaClear. Um, and there's the next sec the second video is going to be coming out soon, probably in about a month. So so stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna th I'm expecting this tank to do a full 180, an absolutely amazing. You know this moss will go not moss. This algae will go away. This algae will go away on the rocks somewhat. Um, they'll just look way more controlled and clean, and I'm hoping these top plants are going to grow some more. I've been having some issues getting them to grow, so um, yeah, this this filter, I just love this filter. I mean, it has the big sponge on the bottom, catches all the debris, then it has the um, charcoal um, charged stuff, black stuff, <laughs> in the middle to filter out um, to keep good bacteria, and then the media on the top, again, for good bacteria as well, so this filter is just a 10 out of 10 to me. Um, and so yeah, I hope you guys like this video, um, so stay tuned for next week, we'll have another video coming out, probably on feedings, or something else. <laughs>